Okay, this is going to be the first of a two-part video involving uh, mostly email, but also some browser security. Uh, the first part, I'm going to show you how to secure your Gmail account, uh, secure Firefox with a master password, and then download uh, Mozilla Thunderbird, the free and open source email client. Uh, in the second part, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your email with uh, the Mozilla Thunderbird extension called Enigmail. So, first, let's go. Let's use the way that most people access their email and go to Gmail. As you'll notice, that you have a secure connection when you're logging on to Gmail, as you can see by the HTTPS. Uh, I'm going to use an account I created for this. Okay, uh, you see that Firefox, uh, the default behavior is to ask if you want it to remember your passwords. Right now I'm going to set it to not remember my password. Okay, so I'm in Gmail and you notice that uh, I'm no longer on a secure connection. Uh, so if I happen to be checking my mail on a public network, um, then there's a chance that someone else could be reading my mail. Uh, there's a simple fix to this though. Click settings, um, scroll all the way down uh, to where it says browser connection and check always use HTTPS and that'll switch you to a secure connection. We'll log out again and log back in and now you see that we're using a secure connection uh, so that's the first step in securing your gmail account uh, so we'll sign out uh, and sign back in okay and this time i'm going to tell firefox to remember my password Okay. So now there we are. Firefox remembered my username and my password. But this isn't very secure because anyone who has access to your computer is going to have access to your passwords. And that's where a master password for Firefox comes in. So um, go to Tools and then Options and then Security. Uh, check Use a Master Password. and then enter your master password. Okay. So now when I close all of my Firefox windows, open it back up, go to Gmail, it automatically asks me for my master password. and I have to enter that before I can uh, automatically enter my Gmail account. And your master password stays active as long as you have Firefox windows open. Uh, so if I go to Gmail in this window it's going to remember, uh, but if I close all of my Firefox windows then the next time uh, it's going to ask me for my master password again. Uh, it's a very good practice to use a master password if you're using your browser to remember your passwords uh, so that your uh, passwords aren't stored in plain text on your computer. Okay, so now that we've uh, got the basic steps of securing our Gmail account, uh, let's look into uh, Mozilla Thunderbird. So it can be found at Mozilla Messaging. We'll download it here. Okay, Thunderbird's been fully downloaded. 
So we'll double double click the installer. It's a very simple setup. Just do the standard installation and we'll launch it now and we don't have any other email clients currently on this computer so we can't really import anything into Mozilla Thunderbird okay and now the first account wizard screen pops up when you first load Thunderbird uh, we're gonna load we're going to add a Gmail account. Put your name here. GC test 10. And then and then you enter your password for your password manager remember that password and it gives you a warning about having the password manager remember your password and we will solve that in just a second the solution it turns out is to set another master password for Thunderbird okay so uh, if you're confused about how to set up a Gmail account in Thunderbird you can just load up your Gmail account sign into it go to settings forwarding and pop uh, you need to make sure that pop is enabled and then uh, click configuration instructions scroll down to Thunderbird and then uh, it'll tell you exactly how to uh, set up your Mozilla Thunderbird client and shows step-by-step -step pictures actually setting up a Gmail account is very simple because they have Gmail already in Thunderbird because it's such a popular uh, server Okay, we'll exit out of that. Uh, one thing that it doesn't do is you want to uncheck, you want to go to Tools, Account Settings, and go to your account, go to Server Settings, and uncheck Leave Messages on Server. Uh, by default, Google is going to leave messages on the server, but you want to uncheck that in Thunderbird. Okay. So remember how Thunderbird told us that we have uh, there's a security risk with using the password manager. So what we can do is we can set a master password in Thunderbird as well. Okay, so we've set a master password. Okay, so we've set a master password in Thunderbird as well. And every time we load up Thunderbird, in order to access our uh, email account, we'll have to enter that master password. Uh, now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your emails with the uh, Enigmail extension which uses OpenPGP. Um, so that was how to secure your browser, your webmail, and your Thunderbird email client. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment.